What's up, YouTube? Today I'm going to show you guys how to play defense at NBA 2K24, how to lock up the best defenders, how to stop all the cheese, how to get steals at NBA 2K24. This video is going to help you a lot. It's going to improve your win percentage, so make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share it to your friends. And as you guys know, I play wagers all the time, 1v1 wagers, 2v2, 3v3, pro M, all that. So we're playing against the best players in the world, and we're going against Dribbling, Dribbling TMB. He's in the TMB Parkland, and we're in this 1v1 wager against him. But today I'm going to show you guys how I play good defense and how we kind of like locked them up a little bit. And I'm going to show you guys how I think and like the mindset. So make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Let's get right into it. So the first tip and trick, guys, it's really simple. Uh, you guys see these three yellow lines right here. <coughs> these three, my fault too. If I cough a lot, guys, uh, I have like a fever, but we're fighting. But these three yellow lines right here, it's adrenaline, right? So if you have all three adrenaline... All three yellow lines, you could get steals. You can literally get steals all the time, on ball steals. You have like a 90 to 95% like pluck rate with three adrenaline. Once you have two, it's like I think 50% chance. You have one, that's 25. And then if you have zero, that's like if you have no adrenaline, you're not gonna steal. So the rule of thumb though is if you have three adrenaline and they're dribbling your face, is to go for the pluck every single time because you're gonna get the steal. And in ones, twos, threes, fives, any mode on 2K, getting plucks is literally like one of the best ways to get a stop because offense is really cheesy and broken this year. So we have three adrenaline and he does a little dribble move and we reach at the right time and we end up getting a pluck right here. So he does a little move and I reach right there. You guys don't see the move because it was so quick but i knew it was coming so i just reached at the perfect time like he if you see he flinches a little bit and he tries doing like a speed boost glitch he tries doing a speed boost glitch i just rip it i, I knew his timing and i ended up getting the steal so the way to counter this guys is you want to be patient you want to wait and not make a move or you want to run wide and make them use their reach once the defender uses their reach then you can do dribble moves in front of their face but if you're squared up with the offensive player and they're just dribbling your face you get these pluck steals every time, every single time. So we got right there. I'm going to show you guys more examples of how to play defense and how to get stops, guys. All right, guys, so you got the ball right here. We got a rim badge. We pop defensive badge. Uh, we're not using our reach. We're playing really smart. You see we got three adrenaline. We're playing really smart. We're cutting off his midi fade. We're playing. We're going wide, cutting off his lane. Boom. We're just going to keep playing it so you guys see. <coughs> and we're going to just break it down. So... Right away, you guys see, I don't just spam X and reach just to reach. I like to save my reaches. So you guys see I have three adrenaline right now. I don't reach because I want to switch it up. Uh, I knew he doesn't. I knew he wasn't going to run right away, so I just saved my reach. You guys see I'm not using my reach. I should have reached right there because he speed boosted right in my face. This is a pluck, but I still don't reach. And I knew he was going to do the Jamal Murray behind the back because that's what like every comp player does. They always end up coming back to you with the Jamal Murray. And he has a 92 mid, so I knew I had to cut off his mid. So I play low on his mid right there. He goes back left. I cut off his left right there. Then I know he's going to go to the paint, so I cut off his paint. Boom, I'm right there. So at this point, he dribbled for eight seconds. He left right at the whole court. I'm bumping him a little bit. So in my mind, I'm like, yo, he's running out of stamina. He's running out of adrenaline. And he's probably like, 2K doesn't let you green shots when you're always left riding. So I go down here. I see he doesn't want to really shoot it. So I kind of leave him open uh, right here. He hits me with the behind the back. And I kind of live with this shot. Because it, as you guys see, he shoots his shot with 10 seconds left. He did 14 seconds of left riding, dribbling the whole court. And I'll live with this shot every time. So this is what you guys got to understand. Uh, on this 2K and NBA 2K24, it's kind of hard to get stops because it's such an offensive game. You got Patty Mills base. You got T-Mac base. You got John Wall crossover. You got John Wall step back. You got the speed glitch. You got everything. You literally got scoopers, contact dunks. You can't really guard everything on this game. It's really impossible. But if you play good enough defense and let someone just over dribble and shoot a shot with 10 seconds, you live with that result. So as you guys see, he took 14 seconds of left writing to shoot a shot. And 2K will always make you miss that. It's like a hard shot to hit. So we're going to watch it full motion right here, real time. We play his little beyond the back. We play his midi, we get under his midi again. We play low to get his uh, little rim run. A lot of people not shooting that shot right there, they're uncomfortable, and then boom. With like low stamina, low adrenaline, he shoots that shot, he misses. All right, so we're up 2-0 in the series. Uh, he gets the ball right here, game three. We're trying to complete the sweep in this wager. 
Uh, we're playing against one of the best players. Like I said, guys, we're trying to complete the sweep. We're up 2-0. This game, we actually play really bad offense. He gets a lot of opportunities to score. But we're going to show you guys the defense. This is this was a defensive masterclass this game to complete the sweep. But we're going to watch right here what happens. Uh, remember in the beginning of the video, I said as soon as they do a move with three adrenaline, you could pluck it. He ends up doing a move. I pluck it. Like You never want to dribble in anyone's face, guys. You do not want to do that. Especially if they have three adrenaline, you want to be safe. Wait for the defender to reach and waste the adrenaline before you do any moves. As you guys see, I have all my adrenaline. He just does the speed boost in front of my face and I rip it. So, yeah. Remember, guys, if you have three adrenaline, square up with their body, wait for a dribble move, and then reach, and you'll get this animation every time. He does a little move and I reach and I get the ball. All right, so he gets the ball right here. What I like to do is I like to go up, down. I like to get in their chest, then go down. You guys see I'm just going up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Like it's really frustrating them. It's really annoying them. And he's wasting his stamina and I just live with it. You see, I'm just going up, down, up, down. And yeah, he's very frustrated. I got one of the best guards on 2K to get 24 second violation on the one score. So he's doing every cheesy move and we're going to break it down for you guys right here. So uh, I miss. I think I foul him right here. Uh, yeah, I foul him right here. So he starts... He starts off with 20 seconds left. I have one adrenaline bar, so I'm not going to get any plucks. Remember, I told you guys, three adrenaline bars get you a pluck. You could get a steal, but I have one, so I can't get a steal. It's impossible. So we have to play 20 seconds of straight-up defense. We're going to break it down slowly right here for you guys. <coughs> right away, he goes left. We, we, we was playing high, then we went low. He's not really going to pull this shot right here. We go up high. He's not pulling that. He doesn't really want to shoot it. We go up high a little bit, then we go back down low. We play the midi, we play the midi, then at this point, we know he's blinking and he's tired. He's dribbling for 11 seconds, left riding, uh, we're making body contact, so now I'm like, yo, I'm going to give him this shot, and then I'm reading this, I'm like, okay, he's not shooting it because he's scared, because like what a lot of people don't realize, guys, in this 2K stuff, people need to get baskets consistently to keep up, so... He has respect for my offense, and he doesn't want to pull a crazy shot that gives me the ball back. He wants to take care of the ball and get the best possible shot. But when I see him not like pull this shot, that lets me know that he has no stamina or no adrenaline. So that maybe that makes me think I gotta play really low. So right here, I'm just playing low. I live with it. I come up for a quick second. I fake step, pretend like I'm coming up, and then I go back down low. He doesn't really want to pull it. He doesn't know what I'm doing at this point. It's like I'm giving him the shot, but not really because I'm moving up last second. Move up last second, then I go back down low. He tries scooping me, and I block it. So that's just a little master class of defense right there. I'm going to show you guys more examples. All right, so he gets the ball again because, you know, we've been playing bad offense. We're going to see what we do right here. We don't waste a reach. He does a speed boost glitch. We're playing it. We're getting up top. We're getting high in his chest. We're bumping him. We're sitting low. We jump because we think he's going to do a layup. At this point, he has no stamina, or he's, like, blinking. And with 12 seconds, he shoots a good shot. But he's getting bumped around and left riding so much that 2K is going to make you miss this. So we're attached to him. We're playing low. We went low. Then we end up getting there. It was an open shot, but like I said, he's just left riding too much. You guys get you know what I'm saying? So we're playing up, up. We get low. Boom, we jump. And then he left rights and then misses. He could have greened it, but we're just playing defense. So he gets the ball again, guys. And let's see what happens right here. He does his little speed glitch. We're on the midi. We're on the midi again. He ends up, I think, hitting this. Yeah, that's a good move by him. So he messed me up on that. You know, he's a good guard. He's going to get buckets like that. But we're going to see what happens right here. He dribbles in my face. I don't reach right there. Boom. We're playing high, low. We're getting up. We're getting low. And he ends up scooping. So he's actually playing good. He got back-to-back -back baskets on me. It's hard to guard everything, guys, as you guys see right there. So now he actually dribbles. So... He dribbles in my face, and we end up getting the ball. You do not want to do that. Remember, guys, do not dribble in someone's face when they got three adrenaline. And then he ends up getting the ball right here. You know we're playing terrible offense. Let's see how we get to stop right here. We're bumping him. We're in his chest. We're playing really high, really high, really high. Then we're sitting low. He had the shot. He doesn't want to shoot. Then we play defense. He grades a 43% scooper. We're playing terrific defense. We're just going high, low. We're going up, and then we're going down. That's the little glitch right there, guys. You guys want to go up, then you want to go down. You want to go up to the shot, and then you want to go down. Right there, we square up with him. He books me out of a dunk. But we're going to see what we did right here. We're going up, we're going down. We're going up, we're going down. We're confusing him. 
We wait for the step back, we square up, we're right in his face, square it up with three adrenaline, reach, boom, steal. We try to do a contact dunk, he plays good defense. My offense looking really bad right now, we're trying to blitz him, we're trying to blitz him, we don't get it, we have one adrenaline left, so we can't really reach. Right here, we're going to go up high, we're going up high, he has a shot, we're going down low, boom, he does a nice little scooper, so he's up 13 to 7, he's actually scoring right now with the scoop layups. Uh, he does a dribble move again. He tries dribbling again in my face. I pluck it. As you guys see, guys, I pluck it every single time because you cannot dribble in anyone's face. I have two adrenaline. I can't reach at this point, so I'm just going high, low. I'm going up, down, up, down. I'm going up, boom. So I was rallying him and playing mind games on him because he's like trying to pick up my pattern of me going up and then down, up and then down, up and then down. So he thought that I was going to go down and leave him an open shot, but... I could test him last minute, and he got 100% smothered on the ones court, which is literally impossible to get 100% contest on the ones court, but we're playing terrific defense right now. We're just confusing him. We're, we're mixing the plugs. We're doing high, low. We're going up, down, up, down, up, down. We're cutting off the rim run. Our offense is really bad, though. He gets the ball again. We're going to see what happens right here. Uh, we play his midi. We play his midi again. We play his midi again. We play his John Wall. Boom, he loses it. So... We're playing defense. We're literally playing defense. We're going up high. Then we're sitting low. We're sitting low. We're going up high for the midi. We're going high for the midi right here. We're going high for the midi. Then we sit low for the John Wall cross and we get the ball. We mess up offense again. He gets the ball. We're playing up on the midi. He shoots that. We live with it. He greens it. We see what happens right here. He has sharp badge. We're playing up high. We're playing up high. We're playing up high. We sit down low. Make him pick it up. Boom. And he ends up losing the game off this, off this stock right here. He could have, he could have beat me this game. This was his game. He doesn't really want to shoot it because he's confused if I'm going up high or not. I sit out, I sit down low, then I get back up high, and then I'm like, yo, I got cut off his rim run. So you see this angle? I cut off his rim run right here. Make him pick up the dribble. Boom! I think he ends up losing this series off that one stop. I think he ends up losing it. We see. I think he ends up losing this, guys. Yeah, he ends up losing the series. He gets swept 3-0. Uh, we got really we got a lot of stops on him. Three turnovers, seven for thirteen on the ones court. Swept one of the best ones players in the world. Hopefully you guys learned something about this guys. Let me know if you guys learned anything. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Drop what you learned down below if you guys learned anything. We're on a road to 10,000 subscribers. We just swept one of the best players in the world. And I showed you guys my little logic on defense. I like to like confuse them and play mind games. I like to go up high, then sit low, they go up high. Then stay up high, then go down low, cut off the John Wall, and then I like to throw in some plucks right there, here and there. So let me know what you guys think. You can add this to ones, twos, threes, and fives. Make sure you guys would like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy Fab, and I'm out.